Now, let's check the progress of the most extreme experiment sport science has ever attempted. We want to see if an average human can complete the world's most difficult endurance event, the Ford Ironman World Championship in Kona, Hawaii. Sports science team leader John Brinkus is our lab rat, and we've given him only three months to get ready for the Super Bowl of triathlons. By far the hardest thing to do in sports is to wake up. Over the course of 12 weeks, John swims 65 miles, like crossing Lake Michigan. He runs 380 miles, like going from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Right now, my body isn't feeling great. And he cycles 1,500 miles, like riding from New York to Dallas. When you're training for an Ironman, you can never work out enough. It's like a never end. This training increases John's lung capacity and actually thickens the walls of his heart by 10%. This allows his heart to pump more blood more efficiently. By the end of his training, he has burned 440,000 calories. That's the equivalent of burning off the calories of 10 double cheeseburgers every day for three straight months. After 12 weeks of intense workouts, John's final VO2 max test registers 64.9, 13% higher than when we started. Yeah. To put that in perspective, a world-class triathlete like Chris Maka McCormick has a VO2 max of 80.2, substantially higher than John's improved measurement. Now that his VO2 max levels have increased by 13%, we've pegged his chances of finishing the race at 13%. Can he do it? Time to find out, because it's time for the Iron Man. nervous. I need to be calm. I'm not sure if I've bitten off more than I can chew right now. Can an average guy survive the most challenging single day in sports? Coming up, the ultimate experiment continues as sports science pushes our lab rat to the max. <laughs> <laughs> 